Hi, this is The Dead News. In the April issue of Rolling Stone, The Dead were number four in North America concert grosses for the month of February. They grossed $550,000 for sales of 30,000 tickets during the four days at Kaiser Auditorium in Oakland, California. The sold-out success continues as The Dead stormed through the East Coast Spring Tour in Atlanta, Hampton, Brendenburn, Hartford, Connecticut, Worcester, Detroit, and Rosemont, Illinois. At the Hampton shows, The Dead delighted with a rare performance of To Lay Me Down, not done since 81 or 82, and the Dead debut of Ballad of a Thin Man. They also performed East Coast premieres of two new Dylan songs, Stuck Inside Mobile and Queen Jane Approximately. Highlights at Meadowland included A Shake Down Street, Another Fantasy into Hey Jude, and A Crazy Fingers. While in New York, Bob and Brent sat in with Yorma Kalkinen for a 45-minute acoustic jam at the Lone Star Cafe after a Meadowlands gig. The Dead performed a rare Louie Louie at Hartford. Sadly, the scene at Hartford was described as stressed, with numerous arrests and police hassling of deadheads. For those tour heads planning their vacations, confirmed West Coast spring dates are April 22nd, 23rd, and 24th at Irvine Meadows, Irvine, California, and April 30th and May 1st at Frost Amphitheater in Palo Alto, California. Rumors have been flying that both Red Rocks and the Greeks have been canceled, maybe permanently due to community complaints. The latest is that the Greeks are happening, but for only two days. Many deadheads feel it would be a tragedy if these two dates were not played by the dead. The Grateful Dead were big winners at the Bay Area Music Awards held in San Francisco on March 12th. Members of the dead won in the categories of Outstanding Album, Outstanding Bassist, and Outstanding Drummer Percussionist. Jerry was voted Outstanding Guitar Player, and he accepted the awards, quote, for deadheads everywhere, unquote. Garcia was also voted Outstanding Musician of the Year, a writing category, and was presented the award by Bill Graham. The finale of the Bammies featured all the members of the dead, plus Huey Lewis and the News. They rocked the Civic Auditorium with Little Schoolgirl and Love Light. Then John Fogarty joined the group and they blasted their way through Long Tall Sally. And that's the dead news for now.